Pay the rent or take care of the cat. Weekly groceries or the dog goes to the vet. The choices some pet owners say they're facing now. According to the pet care website Rover, 91% of owners say they're spending more on their pets than they were just six months ago. And as CNBC's Andrea Day reports, in some cases, people have no other option but to give up their furry loved ones. She's been a big part of my life, her entire life. Lisa Spillman can't even imagine life without her dog, Rosebud. But she says her household expenses were getting tough to handle. Everything, rent, groceries, dog food, it's all, it's all going up really high. And after her rent skyrocketed nearly 40%, Lisa says she was forced to move. Her only option, a place that wouldn't take dogs. Losing my baby who loves me so much hurt very much. In the last year, we've seen um, surrenders due to housing issues like evictions uh, triple from 6% to 18%. Monica Dangler is director at Pima Animal Care Center in Tucson, Arizona. It's staggering and it's sad um, that that number of people are having to surrender due to things outside of their control due to inflation and the rising market cost for housing. And it's not just here in Arizona, 1,200 miles away in Kansas City, Missouri. So far in 2022, 40% of the dogs that are coming into the shelter that are relinquished by their owners are having to come in due to housing reasons or financial reasons. Tori Fugate is with the KC Pet Project in Kansas City, Missouri. They don't want to give up their pets, but they are coming to us as a last resort because they have no other options. Like Veronica. When it came to where I had to choose my kids over, over our pets. Her two dogs, Oreo and Cookie. Having a mortgage to pay, uh, all of that stuff, it, it adds up. And it seems like everything is going up besides, you know, the pay. And 1,200 miles away in New York City. But we're basically packed with, with animals right now. Katie Hansen works for animal care centers of New York City. More than 4,500 pets surrendered so far this year. That's up 22% from the same time last year. Due to the economy, a lot of people are needing to move to different places. They've lost their job or they can no longer afford the 30% rent increase. So that is one of the biggest reasons that people are having to surrender their animal. But there is hope. Lisa and Veronica were both able to get their dogs back. Their local shelters have foster care programs that take in dogs while owners get back on their feet. I'm really very grateful for that. And Shep Tory from the shelter in Kansas City says they are literally desperate for help there and they need lots of volunteers to keep their programs going. And we're hearing the same thing from shelters across the country. So. If you can help foster a dog or cat or adopt one, please reach out to your local shelter. Chef? Andrea Day, thanks so much.